So first of all, I just want to start by apologizing uh, for the lack of uploads. I know I have a very inconsistent upload schedule, and it's generally uh, terrible, but I was on vacation, and I should have, you know, made a video explaining that or something. I just put out a tweet, which I guess is not enough since, you know, my Twitter isn't the most active in the world. But anyways, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to keep this channel going, but I do have school now, but at the same time, my channel's doing very well, so I want to keep it up, and I want to try to keep on entertaining you fellow boys and girls, so anyways, let's get right into the video. Today, I'm going to be talking about, well, everything involving EU servers and what the transfer packet is, the mythical transfer packet that Hypixel mentions every time EU servers come up. Uh... He says it a lot. I mean, he, I'm referring to the actual person, Hypixel, um, and all the admin team talk about a transfer packet a lot, but they never really go in depth on what a transfer packet is and what it would mean for the server. So that's what I'm going to be attempting to do today. Um, there's been a lot of uh, interest in EU server once again because Hypixel China. Uh, it's kind of a thing now, and if you don't know, uh, Hypixel launched a standalone server completely split from the main community, stats and everything, uh, that's hosted only in China. Now, a lot of people were like, what the hell, there, this is a China server, but not an EU server? EU server is such a more important thing. And, uh, I guess it takes a little bit more information to understand why the the China server is its own thing. Um, basically, Hypixel China is hosted by NetEase, which is a very big hosting company, and um, I, I guess they do a lot of gaming hosting in China. I think they do Blizzard, like for Overwatch, and all those neat games, but you know, this is Minecraft, the most important game of all, so we better get it hosted real good up in China. Um, and I guess Hypixel has a contract with NetEase for them to host everything, them to deal with all that bullshit, and they just supply the games. So, uh, that's what's happening, and it's really good for Hypixel because, well, it's not only good for Hypixel, it's also good for the Chinese community who used, used to, like, play on VPNs and had 800 MS and wanted to kill themselves every time they got into a ranked game, but, you know, um, it's really good for them, and I'm fully supportive of the Chinese server because I think it's a... Yeah, it's just good, all around. But, a lot of people are saying, well, why is there no EU server? I want an EU server. I mean, honestly, most people have given up at this point about EU servers. If you don't know, it's been talked about for years, literally since the start of Hypixel. I've been around since 2013. It has been talked about since 2013. And many times, they've made posts saying, oh, a new server might be coming, or, you know, hinting at it, or something like that. And every time, it never happens. So, most people have given up hope. They're like, fuck it, I'll play with 300 MS and I'll live my life. But, EU servers still could be a possibility in the future, because one thing, like I said, that Hypixel keeps on talking about is a transfer packet. Basically, a transfer packet, the idea of a transfer packet is that when you go onto a Minecraft server, you are logging onto a specific IP. Now that's not an IP like mc.hypixel.net. That is a IPv4 address uh, that basically uh, mc.hypixel.net or whatever resolves to. Now that IP address is what you connect to. Um, you can just type into your uh, command prompt ping mc.hypixel.net. You'll get an IP try to connect with that IP, it'll be the same thing. Um, if you don't know how IPs work, by the way, I think most people have general computing knowledge, but you know, might as well explain it. This is an explaining video. Um, basically, when you join a Minecraft server in the Minecraft, uh, what's it called, you know, the interface, when you just type a Minecraft IP in, you are only on that IP, that numerical IP, that is what you are stuck at. You can't go to another IP unless you disconnect from the game. That can be viewed as a good and bad thing. Um, some people view it as good so they don't get routed all over the place uh, to a million different IPs. I, I don't really know why that would be a big deal, but I've seen some people get concerned about it. Um, it's really not a big deal at all. 
Um, unless you're going like a super shady server, I guess. I don't know. Hypixel is not going to be shady. But um, Transfer Packet essentially would allow uh, the server, Hypixel, to transfer the player, you, your console, from one IP to another IP. Uh, right now, every single player is logged in on one main data center. It's all in the exact same place. Uh, they're all connected. They're all on basically the same IP. There is some complicated proxy stuff that Hypixel does to balance their extreme load. Uh, but basically, everybody's in the same place, right? And that Chicago... Uh, I don't know what hosts them. It's not MC Pro Hosting, but it's something. Um, I think it's like Bunny Hop or some shit. <laughs> I looked it up a long time ago. Anyways... Essentially, everything, every lobby, every game is on the same IP that you connect to when you, when mc.hypixel.net is resolved uh, through DNS. So, when you go to play a game, you're still on that same IP, you're still on that same physical machine. Um, what a transfer packet would do is allow Hypixel to push you across the ocean, or wherever it may be, to another machine. Um, a different IP and hopefully an IP that's closer to where you are. You know, that's the that's the dream. So why Minecraft hasn't added this already is honestly not known, but you know, the Minecraft developers are not known to be the most accepting of the multiplayer community, especially the PvP community. God forbid people actually enjoy that. But basically there's a number of reasons why Hypixel couldn't and shouldn't do just a eu.hypixel.net IP and then everybody who's EU connects to that one IP. Now, first of all, uh, that would split the communities, which is not really a good thing. Every lobby would be EU only or US only, basically. Um, it would, you know, split up the community and everybody loves a good lobby sitting every once in a while. So when you have half as many players or less than half, um, to lobby sit with it gets a little bit boring but also it would be extremely expensive for Hypixel to basically double their hosting um, well it could be argued that the player counts of each individual network or server would you know go down a fair bit it would still cost a lot for all those new lobbies and stuff and if Hypixel could keep the lobbies all on the same place all on the same machine that they already have. That would be fantastic. And just when you went, go to join a game, that's when you get routed to your EU server. Now, it's expensive. It would split the communities. And that's why Hypixel doesn't want to do it. Um, it's basically a fault with Minecraft itself why they don't want to do EU servers. Now, if they added... Uh, transfer packet to Minecraft, keep in mind, it would be only on 1.13, 1.14, one of those terrible, drastically unplayable versions. Uh, actually, they're not, like, ridiculously bad, but, you know, everybody hated it when we switched off 1.7, and switching off 1.8, which, by the way, half the community still uses, um, that would be a literal disaster for <laughs> Hypixel, the community, pretty much everybody involved. Um, so they're not going to do that. They're not going to switch off 1.8 because people do not play on the higher versions. No one likes the PvP who's competitively PvPing. Um, it's only like the noobs who play Bed Wars. I, I hate saying noob. It sounds so cringy. That's what they are. They're Bed Wars players that don't really care how good their pvp is which is fine i mean you're you're a kid you can do whatever the hell you want if you enjoy playing bedwars with your friends go for it so moral of the story eu servers are possible hopefully i've made sense in explaining what a tra transfer packet would do and uh hopefully you learned a little bit from this video i don't think they'll be doing eu servers anytime soon because you know they're already dealing with all this high pixel china stuff and that is a you know very difficult venture on its own don't need an eu server to go along with it and also they're focusing on their standalone game they have been for a long time they haven't talked about it very much recently but i think that's still going very strong and should be out or uh, more information should be out relatively soon
Um, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. See ya.